who would like to explain to me how um, to draw a, a 75 degree angle using a protractor. I want the full description. So you're not going to remember, you're not able to show me a drawing. You're going to say it out loud. Okay, Sophia, why don't you tell me what you have? Okay. So he said, first you use a protractor to draw a straight line. Okay, that makes sense to me. Now what? Then you make a draw at the end. Do I, does it matter? No. Okay, so I'm going to go with this one. It doesn't matter. Then you put the center of the protractor on the dot. He said put the center of the protractor on the dot. Okay, like that? Or is there more instruction? No. <laughs> what part did you miss? That you have to put it straight. It has to line up with the line here. The zero mark. Okay, now what? Then you find the 75 degree on on the right side of the dot. Yeah. Okay, so here's the dot, and there's a 75 degree over here, and there's a 75 degree over here. And I, put, I said to put it on the right. And he says to put it on the right. So in that case, that's going to be this one, so I'm going to erase that one. Okay, so I put a dot. And then connect the two dots with, with a line. Okay, connect the two dots with a line. Are you following this one? Yeah, since you missed yesterday. Connect the dots. Like that. Okay, and then you're done. Good job. That was a very good explanation. How many of you had something similar? Did you notice as we were going through that this each step was important? He missed one, but it's okay. He did pretty good on the rest. That when you take the the protractor and you center the dot here on the dot here, you have to make sure that that line lines up with the zero line, okay? Now, the only thing about his um, explanation that w could have been a problem is if I had chose to put my dot here. Can anybody tell me if this was, because so far this would still be right based on what he said, what could go wrong with this and some of his further um, directions? Right. And it would be obtuse. Right. So if we did the 75 on the right this time, we would end up with an obtuse angle over there. So um, maybe to make your instruction work be better, if you're going to use right for make the 75 on the right, then make sure that you say put your dot on the left beforehand. Does that make sense? Or if you say put a dot on either end of the line, then when you say mark the 75, that is less than 90, than the 90 mark. But that would be more hard. I would think that would be harder. I think that, that saying put the dot on the left side before you gave the direct, the rest of the directions would work. Yeah. All right, we're doing 7-4 today. <coughs> Use construction paper, draw an angle that measures exactly 70 degrees, and then label it. So we're going to take our paper. You're not doing it yet. You're watching me. If I listened to Nicholas earlier, I know that I need to draw, to draw this angle, I need to draw a straight line. I need to put a dot on one end, I'm choosing that end, and then match up our dot here, match up our line, make sure that the, that the dot is here and that this matches up with the zero over here. Um, I'm supposed to do 70, so here's my 70. So now I'm going to connect those two dots. Those were Nicholas's instructions. And I have a 70 degree angle, and the next part of it said to label it A, B, C. So can I do A, B, C? Can I do, I'm right here, A, B, C? Can I do A, B, C? No. no. No, I can't because B has to be the vertex. vertex. And I know that because it's, it's in the, in middle. the middle. So I'm going to just do A, B, C like this. Then I'm going to give myself a dot here. I'm going to make my arrows to remind me that these are rays that continue on and on, unless otherwise stopped. The next step says cut out angle A, B, C. 
Now I've created a cutout, and then it has this little corner over here. This is why you can't call an angle a triangle, because it's not necessarily. But anyways, there's my angle cut out just to the ends of the papers. So you continue that straight edge to the end of your paper. Go ahead and cut them out. The next step says, separate angle ABC by cutting it into two parts. Begin cutting at the vertex and cut between the rays. Now listen to what that said. Remember I changed my, um, my labels and I put them on the inside? So I can see where the vertex is. Can you guys tell where the vertex of my angle is? Yes. Yeah. Where, where would I find it? The bottom left corner. Bottom left on this one, which is where, where the B is, right? Mm -hmm. So what it's telling me to do is to just cut a straight line and just to cut in between. It doesn't say you have to go halfway in between. Mine's starting to look half, but you can do something different. And just do a straight cut all the way through. If you want to draw a line first with a protractor so you end up with a straight line better than mine, you can. Now I'm going to take these. The next thing it says, first of all, what figures do you form? I created two angles. In this case, are they, how would you classify the angles? They're, they're both acute. They're not obtuse. This angle here doesn't count because this is just random. That's just the edge of the paper. So, and I didn't create triangles. I created two angles. I created this angle and this angle, and they're both acute. So the next thing I need to do, I'm gonna write that in. You guys can write it while I do. I created angles. The next step tells me to use a protractor to measure the two angles that I cut. Now, this is important. When I'm measuring these, I need to use the same vertex that I started with. I can't use this vertex up here. I can't use this vertex down here. I have to use the same vertex where I started. So first I'm going to take the one that has an A in it. And I'm going to put this on the center, on the... So far so good there. Center. And then I'm going to measure. And I am exactly... Oops, whoa. I moved it. I'm at exactly... 35, 36. Are you guys seeing that? Yeah. Here's 30. Here's 35. And the next one is 36. So mine is exactly 36. Your pencil should be down. Okay. Now I'm going to... So one of mine is 36. I'm going to write that in. You're not because yours is going to be different. Now I'm going to take my protractor to the, the other one. And I'm going to put it on the center. Can you see this still? Okay. And I'm going to measure to here. It goes to the spot right here, which is 30. Measures 35, and the other one was 36. So my two measures were, which is kind of funny, 35 and 36. I'm going to tell you why it's funny in just a second. So, what was my angle I started with? 70. When I cut those in half, I should have had two numbers that equaled 70. It's funny that I happened to cut them about exactly in half. So the first one was 36, and the second one was 35. And what is 36 plus 35? 71. So when I measured my first angle, how much was I off by? One. I was off by a degree because these two numbers should add up to 70. Okay? So when you do yours, you'll get to see how accurate you were drawing your angle. Did you? Because those two angles should equal the original angle, which is the point of this lesson. And when you have two angles, you can add those two angles together to form a second one. Now I can take these back and I should be able to measure them, and they should be 70, but I'm going to measure them because we think they're, actually, it's probably 72, because I'm going to guess that I actually have my angle is going to be 72 because it was closer, oh, no, 71. See? Can you guys see where it ends up right here? There the line goes at 71. So my first angle was bad. So in reality, I was supposed to draw a 70. I ended up drawing a 71 degree. 
And then you can see that those two, when I separated them out, they added up to 71. <laughs> F says join the two angles, compare the angle of ABC to the sum of the measures of its parts. And we did that actually after I cut them and I added them and I said, wait a minute, that's 70. I was supposed to do seven, that's 71. I was supposed to make an angle of 70 and remember I remeasured it and sure enough it was 71. So we already did this. We joined the two angles together, we measured them and I'm guessing that you guys probably did the same thing if your answer wasn't 70. Number two says that Seth cut angle ABC into three parts. So instead of doing two separate angles, he did three. Draw a model that shows two different ways he could have separated the angles. So I'm going to draw, your pencils are gonna be down and I'm gonna draw an angle that is, what is it supposed to be? 70. Remember, was it 70 yeah, degree angle? Did I do a really bad job drawing the first time? Now I'm going to do it with a marker, so it's going to be even better. So we're doing a 70 degree angle again, and I'm going to write that here so you guys remember, so that you're not completely lost. The angle ABC is 70 degrees. And then he can cut it into parts. Two angles. So I'm just going to, or three angles, I'm sorry. I'm going to draw. He can make a cut right here. And he can make a cut right here. That would be one way he could do it. Um, you can write the measure of the angle shown in a circle as a sum as well. So if we look at this circle here, I can measure these angles. Remember if I have, oh, if I'm working with angles that are too small for my protractor, I need to extend my lines so that I can measure the angles. So I'm going to measure this angle and it goes right about, let's see, it goes 85. I measured this one. <coughs> and it looks like it's at 95. How do I know? Looking at this one down here, can anybody tell me how many degrees that angle is without even measuring it? Preston? 180. 180. Remember half a straight line or half of a circle is 180 degrees. So we already know that. We learned that before. Now, if I add 180 plus 95 plus 85, those are my part, part, part. They should equal the whole. What is the whole um, degrees around the circle? What is the measurement of the degrees around the whole circle? Sean? 360. 360. Should I just write that and then be done? No. Should I check? Yes. So I'm going to do 85, I mean 180 plus 85 plus 95. There you go. 360. I thought it 